The position vector r of t is given for an object at time t. Calculate the velocity, speed, direction, and acceleration of the object at time t equals one. Here we see the graph of the vector value function r of t. Here's the point when t equals one, and here's the point where t equals two. The velocity v of t equals r prime of t. The speed equals the magnitude of v of t. The direction equals a unit tangent, which equals v of t divided by the magnitude of v of t. And finally, the acceleration a of t equals v prime of t, which equals r double prime of t. Let's begin our work on the next slide. Let's rewrite the y component of r of t as two t to the one half. So we know r of t has an x component of one fourth t squared, a y component of two t to the one half, and a z component of four t minus t to the third. And now let's find r prime of t, which equals v of t. To do this, we find the derivative of each component with respect to t. The derivative of one fourth t squared is equal to one fourth times two t to the first, which simplifies to one half t. The derivative of two t to the one half with respect to t is equal to two times one half, that's one, times t raised to the power of one half minus one, which simplifies to t raised to the power of negative one half. The derivative of four t minus t cubed with respect to t is equal to four minus three t squared. Now that we know r prime of t, or v of t, we can now determine the velocity at t equals one, which equals v of one. We substitute one for t in each component, gives us one half times one, comma, one raised to the power of negative one half, comma, four minus three times one squared. Simplifying, we know that v of one, or the velocity at t equals one, is the vector with an x component of one half, a y component of one, and a z component of one. The speed at t equals one is equal to the magnitude of v of one. So the speed at t equals one equals the square root of one half squared plus one squared plus one squared. One half squared is equal to one fourth. One fourth plus one plus one equals two and one fourth. Two and one fourth is equal to nine fourths, which means this is equal to the square root of nine fourths. Nine and four are both perfect squares. This simplifies to three halves or 1.5. The speed at t equals one equals the scalar quantity three halves or 1.5. And now let's find the direction at t equals one, which is big T of one, which equals V of one divided by the magnitude of V of one. Well, we know that V of one is the vector with an X component of one half, a Y component of one, a Z component of one. And we know the magnitude of V of one equals three halves, or 1.5. Dividing by three halves is equivalent to multiplying by two thirds. This is equal to two thirds times a vector with an x component of one half, a y component of one, and a z component of one. Performing the scalar multiplication, we have the vector with an x component of one third, a y component of two thirds, and a z component of two thirds. Again, this is equal to big T of one, which is the direction. And for the last step, we need to determine the acceleration at t equals one or a of one. Let's do this on the next slide. Because we already have r prime of t or v of t, we can determine a of t by differentiating v of t. The derivative of one half t with respect to t is one half. The derivative of t raised to the power of negative one half with respect to t is equal to negative one half t raised to the power of negative one half minus one, that's negative three halves. And the derivative of four minus three t squared with respect to t is negative six t. 
to determine the acceleration at t equals one, we need to determine a of one, so we substitute one for t in each component. The s component is one half, the y component is negative one half times one raised to the power of negative three halves, and the z component is negative six times one. Simplifying, we have the acceleration at t equals one is equal to the vector with an x component of one half, a y component of negative one half, because one raised to the power of negative three halves simplifies to one, and the z component is negative six. I hope you found this helpful.